welcome back to the channel i got a new camera so it's gonna be a little weird recording because i'm used to like different view but whatever so it's been a while probably on tiktok guys guys link, he, link at the bottom he just got a tiktok Blow me up. <laughs> <laughs> he just got a tiktok and he's just been obsessing over this it's hilarious because i told him to make a tiktok like a year ago but he thought it was crazy and now like He'll just be dancing out of nowhere, and I keep forgetting TikTok exists. And I'm like, what the heck is he doing? I'm like, oh, that's TikTok. So we have to go to the storage unit, get some boxes, because we are out of a few things for AJ Blanks. They've just been in the storage, so I'm going to go see what we can find there. We have, like, over 200 boxes there, I think. I think. I don't know. I haven't been there in, like, a while since we moved, so I don't know. Keenan goes to storage. I don't ever go. Him and his father go. So one day, trying to find what we can find, see what we can see. And then come back home. I got some stuff from Mighty Hoop that I got from the show. And I got some stuff from All Such I need to open up. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. But yes, this camera is a lot heavier. So I need to put you guys down and I will see you guys later. So we're at the storage unit now. Keenan always makes sure there's not like a mouse or something that comes because I'm terrified. So he got to look at the place first. And then I will go, oh, no, I don't want to run over my feet. I don't need any Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, none of that. None of that. So I'll show you guys the storage unit in a second. He has never been to a storage unit. Rome, Rome. Excuse me, sir. You can't go out here. There's cars. Hello? Hello, sir. Hello? Yeah, daddy got you. Figure out what I need and then we'll see you guys back in the car. Okay, so we were able to find two 6 to 12 month girls ruffle white short sleeve bodysuits. Still can't find any 12 to 18. I have some, but like they're for myself, not for, not for you guys. <laughs> so uh, I guess we just sold out pretty quick um, for those. Our next restock would be like mid October. Like. I'll say mid to just mid, just mid. I hate giving dates and it's wrong. So mid October to restock those. Whew. And yeah, so we are going to head back home. Start to pull these AJ Blanks orders. Like I literally told him to go to the storage unit yesterday, and this morning I went downstairs to pull orders. I'm like, oh man, I forgot. We need them from the storage unit. Thing is, our garage is jam packed right now, so I literally, um, it's hard to see anything. Like. There's so many boxes in the garage. I think there's over 300 boxes in the garage. So we try to organize it by shipments, but like sometimes things get mixed up and confusing. So it's hard to find it if we have it in there. Like I have a whole manifest of what should be in the garage and everything, but sometimes we forget to cross it off. So things happen. So yeah, head back home, probably pull those orders. Um, and then I have a few Etsy orders to do. None of them have to go out today. I opened my Etsy shop back up yesterday. I will be um, making a website for my kids' custom design shirts now, um, so it'll be on Shopify. So that's in the works ish, like in the works meaning I bought a Shopify store for it, but I haven't done anything with it. So see so you guys back at the house. You want to tell the vlog hi? No. Say hi. No. Say hi. Let's go. Oh, you ready to go? All right. So we will see you guys back at the house. Okay, we have made it home um, down here in the basement. So, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling these orders real quick. There's not that many orders and I do have to check inventory because it says out of a few things that I know I saw boxes for upstairs. In the beginning, I didn't do my inventory as well as I should have. And that's just the truth. Um, but since we've been at this house, I've been doing a better job of actually doing the inventory accurately because we get like a bunch of uh, shipping manifests and it tells us the quantity size of every single order. So um, I've just been adding what's here. I keep some for myself, obviously, because I do have an Etsy shop um, that I use this blanks for. But in the beginning, like all of 2020 and like half of 2021, I didn't, I didn't do it the right way. I don't know why. I don't know why. But you live and you learn, you grow as you go, and you figure out work, what works best. But go ahead and pull these orders, and then we will. Uh, Get back later and yeah i'm gonna keep looking this way because it's a habit you see i'm looking over here i'm not looking at the camera but there's a screen on this camera that's on the side versus on top when it was on top i was always looking dead in the camera because it was right there but now that the screen's on the side i look like i'm talking over here but i'm supposed to be talking right here but whatever i'll get used to it as i go new camera guys like this camera's amazing i look so cute but no okay whatever let me uh do what i'm supposed to be doing right now I know we really haven't had a tour down here um, because I was like, oh, when I get it clean, I'll do it. Never got it clean enough to do it, but um, it's kind of like just, you know, a straight up mess 
around here. That's just the truth. <laughs> we try to get stuff put away clean as quickly as possible, but then, like, it doesn't happen. And then, like, over here, we have a bunch of uh, boys' black HT. I call them HTV shirts because they're one of the first few shipments we got in last year. And there was, like, one batch that wasn't as good as the rest. Um, it was thinner. And... I honestly don't know which one it was. So all the black shirts that we got last year, um, I'm just calling them HTV shirts because they're a little bit thinner. Um, I've since changed to thicker black shirts, but again, I don't know which shipment it was um, that was not the best shipment for like embroidery wise. So I was like, I don't know. I don't want to send somebody something that's a little bit thinner. So we just went ahead and just marked them all as HTV shirts. So you will see them on the website. They're 350 instead of five something. Um, so they are cheaper. So yes, I'm just calling them HTV shirts. And when they're gone, they're gone. Just wanted to mention that. I know some people have already noticed it on the website. I think we put them up like two weeks ago or something. So just mentioning that. But I need to go ahead and pull these orders real quick and get these done um, so that I can keep going with my day. And guys, Riley is at school, so like, eh, it's so different, but it's good that she's getting educated, but it's just different. I, it's like, it's, it's a lot, uh, easier, I guess, not easier, easier. I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's just odd, long story short. Like, having Roman, although I'm not the one watching him with Keenan, um, it's just different. It's just so calm, I guess, because each child is great by themselves. We bring them both together. It's like a tornado. Like, they just hype each other up. They're like each other's hype man. So, they go crazy together. But when it's just one of each, they just... It's a totally different child. You know? Totally different. So, Roman has been so well behaved. He's not doing his parkour stuntman things anymore. When she comes back, he goes back to it. But, like, during the day, he's just calm, chill child. But, again, I'm not the one watching him. It's his daddy right now. So... Again, let me go ahead and pull these orders so that we can be done. Okay, so we have a few of the orders pulled. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start packaging.
Okay, so I just texted Keenan to see if Roma was asleep. <laughs> it took about an hour-ish to pack all these orders. I was done and then like four orders came in back to back. So I was like, let me just go ahead and pull them. Is it noon? It's not noon yet. So I try to ship everything um, that comes in by noon, same day. Try to, some days we get too many orders. But this week, Keenan's mom is on vacation. So no childcare. So trying to balance shipping everything it's a bit harder because only one person working normally is Keenan and I. Um, so then now I have to go upstairs and do Etsy orders. Um, so I think I'm just going to leave this down here for now because Roman is not asleep, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to try to sneak upstairs and be like super quiet. So we'll see if I can make it. I don't know though. I should probably turn the lights off. The electric bill. Oh my God, guys. I did not expect the electric bill we were getting in this house. Like, I doubled my last electric bill thinking that was going to be enough. No, it's way higher. So, now, I make sure I turn off these lights. Shoot, even if it saves me a penny. Let's see. And I don't want to turn any lights on in the house. Down here, I kind of have to because I need to see the blanks. But, like, I need my AirPods. Upstairs? Nah, you better get that natural light during the day. All right, hold on. All right, all right. Dang. Well, I can't hold you guys in upstairs because I need to hold my computer. So, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I'm back upstairs. Roman is, he just fell down. Fell down, wow. He just fell, he went down for a nap, fell asleep, whatever. So, um, I have a few Etsy orders to open. To, oh, wow, I can't even talk to the thing. Dang it. All right, so I have a few Etsy orders to work on. Um, nothing's due, they came in yesterday. I just opened my shop yesterday. I got four orders yesterday um i have some supplies from all stitch that came in yesterday i also have some mighty hoops that came in um this one so i got a new mighty hoop um the 11 by 13 13 by 11 whatever i already had one from one milk coat but i am doing adult stuff um more so i needed a second one because it was annoying only being able to use one milk coat for the adult stuff and then i also got the backing holder because i hate hooping stuff so I did get this. This this came in um, the day before I left for the show, um, so I was mad <laughs> um, because I wish I had it sooner. But it's here. And then under my laptop, and then I got some more stuff for Mighty Hoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it now. Also, guys, don't forget that you can call Mighty Hoop, and I'll put the number right here, and use code Kids Customs so you can get free shipping on your orders. Um, Mighty Hoops works for all multi needle machines as well as the Baby Lock one needle and then the Brother one needle, Persona and the Alliance. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So I asked for a 5x5 five five inch backing holder um, for the logos because I didn't have it. And then I got, oh, they sent me two. Okay, I, I do have two. Uh, <laughs> two Melcos, so uh, oh, ow, I have a crack. Okay, so, so um, this is the 8.875 by 5, so I guess like a 9 by 5 my hoop. So I got two of these, and these are for the baby gowns. I want to do the names on the baby gowns embroidered. And I'm going to keep this together before I mess it up. So those go together. And then the bigger one um this can work for pants sweatshirt sleeves a lot of different things so we will set these up when we are ready to use them so that is what i got from my hoop so just have to screw the arms on and then that'll be it for this well yeah guys I don't know if you watched my live from the Impressions Expo, but Melko had like this table thing that rolled to put the laptop on. I bought it. I haven't set it up yet, but like, I'm so happy about that because right now I'm using this little, I'm using this uh, colorful cart, but like, it would be so much better because it's a rolling thing and it's made for it. And then I could use it as my nightstand because I try to watch my shows at night, but Roman is always in the way. So if I put that next to it, it's like the perfect angle to watch my computer because I watch Netflix. I watch my K-dramas before I go to bed. I just don't like their packaging. 
They make it so inconvenient to open. It's like they make their own boxes. So like this is a post office box, but they made it the size they needed. So it just makes opening stuff so much harder. So I got more bobbins. These are the magnetic bobbins. And then I got two packs of needles. I got the 7511 ball points and the 659 ball points. I like the organ needles better than um, the other brands. They just work best for me in the Melco. Um, so these are what I use. And like I said, I'm doing adult stuff now. So I definitely need the 7511s because I'm not just using AJ Blinks. All right, so I put my bobbins in here. It's just easier for me than having to open this every time, so. It's just how I do it. And it goes in this drawer I have over here that you can't see, but in this drawer I have all my embroidery supplies. Um, just where I keep it all. I'm sure I'm gonna use this for something else eventually, but for now this works. I put my needles in here. Keep everything organized. Keenan keeps texting me. I think the hardest thing about doing adult stuff now is one, adult stuff costs so much, and then two, the inventory issues, because like everything is sold out. So I find myself checking the websites multiple times a day. Like yesterday, they said they weren't gonna be getting anything until October-ish. One business said that they would be getting it in um, early September. So I looked at one of them and it was like zero. Then I looked again and it said there was 36 of the item I needed. I ordered 20, but it's just like, <laughs> it's so expensive. Adult stuff is just crazy expensive. And like, it's hard trying to run an Etsy shop when you don't have the inventory you need. So luckily one of my Etsy orders that I have is that I had a customer who asked for a specific shirt. I made sure I asked for the name and number and the size when she first asked for this listing because I didn't have it and it was never made and it was a new idea I wanted to make anyways so I just made the sample on the t-shirt size the name everything so she's okay I'll buy it in like a month or so I was like oh, okay so she just ordered it yesterday went to my Etsy shop and I was like yes that's one order that's done like I don't have to do it because it's already made so I have three Halloween shirts to make but I do want to make like fall items um so I'll probably be doing that today I don't want this vlog to be like super long I know it's been I only uploaded like two videos all of August, so I want to get back into recording and making videos. So if you guys could like comment down below any ideas of things that you would like me to make, any videos. Um, so yeah. Also guys, don't forget Labor Day is on Monday, so the post office is closed. I know it's so easy to forget holidays and shipping, so I just wanted to mention that while I remember just now. I mean, it's Missouri now. I'm trying to find this design now. No, I can't find it. I had it in my shopping cart a while ago, like a long time ago when they first like released it and I'm pretty sure I already bought it, but I don't know what website it was from.
two shirts we got finished today. I swear I looked better. I thought it was going to look better than it did, but hey, it's made. It's a shirt, so we'll put it up. And this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get one more shirt made. I did an order for an adult uh, sweatshirt that is almost done. Um, I paused it real quick just so I could finish this video. Um, another, I'm going to do a shirt with skeletons on it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but have about 45 minutes. We have to go get Riley from school, get some coffee, and come back home. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Thanks for sticking by and watching it. And I will see you guys in the next video. And stay tuned for my CF fan shout out right after this. Bye. Today's CF fan shout out goes to also oh Foxy. Here is her Instagram page. So she sells these super cute skirts. Wow, they're adorable. Thank you for being a CF fan. <laughs> Her face is so silly. <laughs> Thank you for being a CF fan. If you would like to get a shout out in my next video, make sure you join my CF fans. The link is down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.